Christmas in five days. Why you hate for others? My friend, who said I hate? Here we go, our friend here, Muhammad. He called us just uh, two weeks ago, and now he left Islam, and soon he, I hope he will become a Christian. So if we hate Muslims, then we will not say love them, and we will not stay here to help you after all what you do to us. I don't hate Muslims, I will never hate them. If I say that you are stupid, I don't hate you. You said something stupid, you are stupid, what I can do. But doesn't mean I hate you. I feel sorry for you. And as long as you are talking about hate, Mr. Ibrahim, this is your stupid Quran saying that Allah, he spread hatred in our heart until the day of judgment. So if you are against hate, you should be against the Quran. And you should blame the Quran because your stupid Quran is the one who is the vendor of hate. Here we go. This is the stupid Quran of Muhammad. Chapter 5, verse number 14 says, those who call themselves Christians, we took a covenant from them, forgot good part of it. So what we do? So we string them with enmity and hatred. So here we go. I have five days for Christmas, as you said, and Allah is to provide me with hatred, brother. Brother. Uh, Maui, Maui Z saying Christmas is pagan. My friend, everything is pagan these days, including you. Look at you, you have a picture. Isn't it haram in Islam to have a picture? You are a pagan. They are so deep, but they cannot answer anything about the religion. Christmas is pagan. Why it's pagan? You see, do you know what? Do you know even those people knows what pagan mean? Pagan, if you are worshiping something, is not alive. This is paganism. So, do we worship trees? No. Do we worship Santa Claus? No. So our Christmas is pagan when this is the day of a Christ. <laughs> Potato. Genius. Don't get married. Your wife, she will run away with a turtle. I say the turtle because she is, I mean, you trust the turtle to be at home, right? Trust me. If you are the husband, the turtle is good for her. She will live with the turtle. She will ride the turtle and she will never ride you. Take my word for granted. Just count to 10. Let us hear a prayer, CP. I honestly have no hate. Uh, Ibrahim, are you saying you are better than your God? <whistles> Guys, be my witness. Mr. Ibrahim, he's a good person. He's not like Allah. Be my witness. Ibrahim, honestly, he have no hate. Allah is full of hate and he is the hate vendor, Ibrahim. So what we will do now, Ibrahim? I need your help. How we can fight the hate of Allah in the Quran. Chapter 5, verse 14 in front of you. What kind of God he want hatred to be spread between the Christians? Hmm? According to the Quran, we are the victims of your God hatred. He is the one who made us people of hate. Do you have anything to say? Do you like to call me Mr. Ibrahim? We can start, we can have a new start, me and you. You sound like an intelligent man. I like intelligent people. By the way, I was number one in my classroom. I'm, I'm telling you, in mathematics, geography, everything. But I did not tell you that I was the only student, you know, by the way. Yeah. But this remind me of the Quran, where Allah, he says he is the best of the creator. But, creator, sorry. But supposedly he was the only one in the classroom. I mean, he is the only creator, isn't he? How he is the only creator and he says, I am the best of the creators. Is that a fraud? Allah gets certification he is the best of the creators in a school. There's no student in it except him. That's deep. Christmas is announced by the father of the church, not in the Bible. That's not true. Isn't it the Bible says that stars fell from heaven? Kings came to Jesus. So Christmas celebrated in that day, my friend. Don't make things up. It's in the Bible. Sky celebrated Jesus' birth. So who in the world want to say that Christmas is not in the Bible? Watch your mouth before you say things, my friend.
Many Christians, they say things they don't know what they are saying. They don't think. So do we have any Abdul? Actually, yeah, I was the best to Karina. She is, you know, by the way, Karina, she was the principal of the school. I'm telling you, she was there. And she can witness for that day. You know, I was the best in the classroom. All right. Uh, and not only that, actually, <clears throat> uh, I, I don't talk about myself. You see, the Muslim, they say they talk about Muhammad, how handsome he is, he is, he is you know, uh, I've been offered a job like uh, me and Prophet Muhammad in the same day, in the same day. Both of us, they offer us a job to do striptease and blind the club. Like there's women blind, they are blind. They, so we received the same day invitation to work in the striptease club, me and Prophet Muhammad. Me, I was so shy, Prophet Muhammad he accepted, and right now he's busy. <laughs> Unbelievable. So good to be true. It is true, brother. Allah is the best of the creators. That's deep. Hey, Muslims, was he the best of the creators? Was he, or this is stupid? Was he? Hmm? <clears throat> hey, Mausi, the birth of the day of the birth of the Christmas is not in the Bible. We don't care really for the day of the birth because let me tell you something. Even the day you know of your birth is not going to be celebrated again. Uh, just to give you an example, brother. Just example. If you are born, let us say, July 15. July 15, last year maybe, it was Tuesday, maybe. This year will be maybe uh, Monday. Is it the same day? No, because simply there's no perfect calendar. So you are silly. Secondly, as long as you are a person who cares very much for the date, how in the world do you Muslims celebrate the birthday of Muhammad sometime in August, sometime in July, sometime in December, sometime in March, sometime in May, sometime in... I mean, Muslims, they care very much for the date, brother. Oh, brother. When the birthday of Muhammad, brother? Let us open Prophet Google and search for the calendar. Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> they care for the day, my friend. They care very much. Let us look. Let us take a look, brother. How come it's not the day, brother? The day is not mentioned, brother. Uh, okay. Let us see the Muslim calendar. Hold on. Okay. Uh, okay. This website here show us only a few years. Guys, the birthday of Muhammad, according to the Muslim website, is the following. In this year, it was in October 19. The year after 22 is going to be October 8. The year after is going to be September 27. The year after is going to be Monday, September 16. The year after will be September 5. The year after will be August 26. And it keep going. August, July, June, you name it. And the Muslim, they say, this is not, this is not true. Uh, this is not the true birth of Jesus. <laughs> Do you see why they don't dare to debate me? Because we can get them busted in the speed of light. They are no match. They are so slow with their brain, like a turtle. And they are in the front of a Christian prince. So you can imagine how they can survive it. Christmas Day is not the exact Christmas of Jesus. Like supposedly you are celebrating the birthday of your prophet once in July, once in December, once in January, once in February. Brother, when the birthday of prophet the 10 years from now? That's deep. Hey, Prophet, last time we celebrate your birthday, it was so cold in December. And today it's July. How you move your birthday six months in a, you know? Uh, because 
I'm Prophet Muhammad. I'm very flexible. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, I love the Chinese when they say they lived as a donkey, never come back as a horse. I mean, it was a statement for truth. You can't make a donkey a horse. That's impossible. Right? I mean, can't you come with something better? But anyway, let us talk about something smart. You know? Let us talk about something smart. I want to teach you something smart before I go. Because, you know, the smart is Muhammad. Look at this. Look at this. This is when Allah he was looking at his creation. He is the best of the creators. We made the nutfa, the sperm, the semen, into a dead blood. Brother. Allah. First he made a semen. This is semen. Hmm? This is semen. Oh, hold on. We have to make the semen in different color. It doesn't work this way, CT. Okay, so this is brother. We can't make it white because the background is white. I mean, so this is semen, a drop of semen, eh? a drop of semen, and then Allah will make the drop of semen to a drop of a blood, and it's dead blood. That's deep. That's deep, brother. Look at this genius. God's how me. That's, I never saw such a thing, man. This is so good. This is so good. I wanna, I wanna. You know what? I'm going to change my career. I wanted to work as a, as an engineer because I'm very good in engineering. Uh, the reason I say I'm very good in engineering, I am the one who did engine a year, a year ago. You know, so I was good in engineering. So you know, I decided to do now study engineering of uh, uh, biology. Let us do biology together. So according to the biology of a prophet Muhammad God, the sperm became a dead blood. That's deep. Look, hold on. This is not dead blood. This is red. Dead blood should be a little bit brown. Okay, now we will make it dead blood. Hold on. We will fix it. What the heck is that? Hold on. Dead blood, dead blood. Yeah. Okay, now dead blood. Yeah. So Allah... He will make the semen into dead blood. You know what? I know it. All of us will used to be dead blood one day. Just face it. I mean, this one doesn't look like a dead blood, look like a poop. But anyway, just you get the point, right? You know, I mean, sometimes my skills is not with me. Excuse me, excuse me. Do we have any Muslim can tell us how in the world the biology of your God work? This is God talking, and then the brother, the, the blood, the dead blood, the dead blood become a clot. That's deep. Look at the transformation. This is this is God book. This is God book, brother. This is knowledge, brother. It's like it's like light. It's like light. Who can uh, deny this uh, knowledge? Hmm. Any Abdul? And then he is the best of the creators. Look how he proved it too, by signature. Allah said, and I am the best of the creator. That's it. If Allah said so, who cares? I mean, that's it. Hey, Allah, did you have a degree? Yes, I am the best of the creators. Where you get this degree? I, I am the one who signed it. <laughs> Oh boy. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? Muslim will say out of context. Everything is out of context. Even when your wife, she say, I love you, my friend. <laughs> Most likely she love your credit card. Out of context. I like this one. Out of, <laughs> out of context. I love it. Okay. Out of, even this one is out of context. I mean, this one is out of context for what? He made the sperm into dead blood. Even this one is out of context? Like, what the heck? Oh, boy. <laughs> Amen. 
Christmas is coming and now your wives will love you very much for your credit card. So take my advice. Hide it. Okay? Hide it. Just kill it, you know? Let me tell you an advice. For me, I always forget my credit card wherever I go. I, I just forget, you know, I forgot my credit card. I learned from Prophet Muhammad how to play those games. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> hmm? Hey guys, what are you buying for your wives for the holiday? I will tell you something will make your wife never ask you for a gift again in the Christmas. Print that page, hear this verse, and put it in the front of her face. Like, put it in a box. Like, you know, like you frame it, you frame it. You know, let, let, let me explain to you because most of you are naive in framing, you know. Here we you know we are Middle Eastern. We do a lot of framing, brother. We are the best framers ever. Okay, so brother, you take this. Hey, what is this? <clears throat> hey, not Phil, not Phil. We, we don't want Phil. Yeah, we take this, brother, and you frame it, <whistles> brother. Your wife. And you say to her, this is my Christmas gift. I, pro I promised Allah to give you this gift for the, list, the rest of my life. Trust me, she will never ask you for a gift again. Take my advice for granted. Look at this. F don't forget to frame it, okay? And try to frame it more than once. Like, don't be cheap with the, with the ink because it's one-time deal, you know? Frame it, frame it. Like, look, look at this. And bring it to her. Says, look how beautiful this is. is. Look how it is. You know? And then every Christmas, you give her this verse. Uh, I'm afraid if you listen to my advice, you will get divorced, by the way. <laughs> disclaimer, disclaimer. Oh, hold on. Did I say disclaimer? Did I say disclaimer? Do you know that Allah, he made a disclaimer in the Quran? Look at this. Look, let me show you. And as long as we're talking about divorce, why well, remember disclaimer now? Allah, he sent two angels. One, his name is Harut, and the other one, his name is Marut. What? Yes, brother, yes. Harut wa Marut wa ma adraka ma Harut. And those two angels, they open a school for Hori Butar. However, brother, this school is to teach magic. But guess what? Before they teach you magic, you have to sign a disclaimer. Yes, brother. And they will teach you how to make a wife and husband fight. If then after you sign a disclaimer, <laughs> they will teach you. <laughs> I want to know who is the genius who come behind those verses, Abdul. This is God talking. He opened a Harry Potter school and he make you sign a disclaimer before he teach you Harry Potter. <coughs> look at this. Look at this. I'm getting dizzy here. Mm. So, but the evil ones is teaching magic. Ooh. Jagawoon, Jagawoon, magic for you. And such a thing come down in the Babylon to the angels, Harut and Marut. Takatut, takatut, takatut. But neither of those taught anyone such a thing without saying, we are only a trial. Disclaimer, disclaimer. So don't do blasphemy. They learn from them the mean to sow discord between a man and the wife. That's deep. God who opened Harry Potter school and look how noble the purpose of this school to make the husband and the wife fight. <laughs> who opened the school? Allah. Muslims. Allah is fixing the society. 
He is so, so excited to help your marriage. He sent two angels downstairs to where in the Babylon Tower. Babylon, Babylon. And they open a school. Can you show us, please, the verse where it says a man are able to be right now? There's no verse, this is a hadith. Muhammad, he said, is a shtahal muslim al walada fi jannah. This is deep. If a Abdul, he wish to have a baby in heaven, he will carry it and he will deliver, deliver it in within an hour. <laughs> I would love to see Mimi Ajab have a baby in his belly <laughs> in within an hour. By the way, you have to take picture fast, you know, because after one hour he will deliver it. The question is driving me crazy about this. The Muslim will deliver the baby from where exactly? Muslims? Where? I mean, the baby will come from where? Like, what the heck? I hope it's not from your anus. That will hurt. Yeah, this is the microwave uh, story. Yeah, what happened, you know, one day, a Muslim, I was saying, give me three words, I will give you something about your prophet. You know, because this why the Muslim was scared to talk to me, because anything they say, I will get them busted. So, so the guy, he like, he come with something impossible. He said, microwave. Okay, give me something about microwave. And he thought, if I say microwave, I mean, how in the world I can find such a thing for microwave? There's no way. There's no microwave in time of Muhammad. So I get in this one. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? You are welcome. You call me names, it's okay. You know, I forgive you. Honestly, I, I have no hate for Muslims. We love them. We would like to help them. But Islam is a scam, as you see. What is this? What is this? The God of tits. Brothers and sisters. Oh, sorry. Forget about sisters. If you believe in Allah, Allah will give you big tits to play with them. That must be from God. That only God words. You know, there is no way a human being can say such a thing. This is must be godly teaching. And you know, for me personally, I'm scared of those tits, man. I mean, if what if this woman, she hit you with one of them? Did you watch this comedy movie, the women that like Al-Qazafi, when the women she broke uh, like a board with her tits? Um, she's the bodyguard of Al-Qazafi. Did you see the movie? What is what's called? The dictator movie, the dictator. The bodyguard of Al-Qazafi, she had big, 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 big tits. She held her tits and she hit the board and bish, she broke it. So imagine how big those, those are way bigger, you know, those are really big. So, and she hit you with them. I mean, that's it, bye-bye. You made this woman angry, they will hit you with their tits because this is the only weapon they have. And this is not a concealed weapon, by the way. I mean, you can't conceal it, sorry. <laughs> Unbelievable. All my life, I'm dreaming to have a true God who promised me true, you know, things true, like you can hold in your hands. Yeah, I mean, big, but those, those even hands cannot fit with them. You know, they are so big, you know, I mean, am I talking to myself? I did sound like it, you know. Yeah, I'm Prophet Muhammad. Oh, Jibreel is talking to me. Hold on. Jibreel, uh, Jibreel, you know, it's, by the way, the Hadith says that the, the Muslim woman in heaven, her ass will be one mile. And that will bring the question how big her tits will be. And the Muslim, they will say, what kind of language you are talking about? Just your prophet said, here we go. This is my language. This is your prophet language. What kind of God he promised me boobs? What kind of a prophet he says your wife in heaven would be one mile, her ass? And by the way, why one mile? Why? 
what about a mile and half or a mile and something you know I mean all of them they have exactly the same size all of them they have one mile how boring all of them <clears throat> hmm. God will fill the heart of all those who follow Jesus with compassion <whistles> that's deep uh, uh, my friend, hold on, uh, Muslim. Why you don't call me and I will let you read for me chapter 57? Is that fair, guys? I challenge you to call us and tell us about chapter 57. You see, this is your choice. What say you? Hmm? I want you to read for me chapter 57. I want to see how proud you are about 57. Are you proud? That is deep. Let us see chapter 57. Horrible, 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 stupid chapter. Allah is the one who created the heaven and the earth in six days. And look at the translation it says moreover. It doesn't say moreover. It says and then he went up to heaven. Hey, Mr. 57, how Allah, he went to heaven up. He was on earth. You see, this is the beginning of the chapter. This is the one of the most comedy, stupid chapters in the Quran. But, uh, you know, you, you have a point only. You want us to read only verse number 27. Let us go to 27 so we can laugh. Are you sure you wanted 27? You will, not, you will regret it. Hmm. Let us read. <clears throat> Brother. Let us read verse 26. Indeed, we send Noah and Abraham and place in their offspring the prophethood. Okay. Okay. And then after them, we send our messengers and we send Isa. Hey, Abdul, who is Isa? You said in your chat, Jesus. There's nowhere in the Quran the word Jesus is mentioned. Not the hero name, not the Arabic name. We do not know who is Isa. Who is Isa? I challenge any Muslim to tell me where this name is coming from. I don't know. Secondly, the son of Maryam, and we gave him the Injil, Hukka Abdul. Allah, he gave Isa the Injil, but Injil is a Greek word. Was Isa sent to the Greek people? Any Abdul? Was Isa sent to the Greek people? Isn't it the Quran says we send to every nation from the nation in the tongue of the nation a book? So if Jesus was sent with a book, it's called Injil. That means Jesus was born between the Greek people. He was born maybe in Thessaloniki. Ah, Jesus in the Quran, he was a Greek person. Uh -huh. You know what? I'm so glad that the Quran did not choose the word calamari. But I will not be surprised if Muhammad heard the word Kalamari, he will put it there. Hey Muslim, what the word Injil mean? Not a single Muslim he knew, including their prophet. Because he's a thief. He heard the Christian saying Injil, he put Injil on the Quran. And Abdul. And then he continues saying, And we put in the heart of those who follow him mercy and compassion. Okay, hold on. So how we can compare between this one and this one, brother? Allah, he put compassion in the heart of those who follow Jesus? What is this then? Injil is, an, is, an, is a Greek word, it's not an Aramaic. Yes, is a Greek. 
It takes you two seconds. Search it in Google, you will find the answer. In Gil is a Greek, really? Uh -huh. <laughs> like is this like you're surprised? Like what? <laughs> you should be an actor. Any Abdul? Hmm. My friend, the one who put mercy in our heart is Jesus, is not your faithy God. Because if your God have a mercy, he put it in the Christian, he should put it in the Muslims. Not killing, chopping heads, chopping hands, riding your neighbors, suicide bombing. So if Allah is the one who put mercy in our heart, then how come he did not put mercy in your heart? Okay, Mr. Ashok, you are welcome, my friend. Good to have you. Do we have any Abdul would like to care, you know, dare to call me? But it doesn't say who follow Jesus. Yeah, but this is true. The Quran is describing those who follow Jesus' heart. It's not Allah who put it in our heart. Those who follow Jesus are merciful. They are loving people. Isn't it Jesus says, love your enemy? If Jesus is the one who said, love your enemy, why we cannot find in the Quran anything except revenge? In the Quran, you cannot even love your own parents if they are not Muslims. So the thief Muhammad, he took the, the compassion we have, the mercy we have, claiming that Allah is the one who gave it to us. If Allah is the one who gave it to us, then he should give it to you. Was Muhammad merciful when he crucified people, cut their hands, when he put nails in their eyes? Let us say for the sake of argument, a person, he commit a crime. Why you put nails in his eyes? Why you do that? Why you torture? Let us say a person, he deserved to be executed. Why you torture? Where is the mercy? And this is in your strip of Quran. Where is the mercy of God? There's a story of a person he stole. He stole an egg or something like that. Muhammad, he told them, execute him. Right away. <laughs> they said, Prophet, he just stole, he did not kill. The punishment of stealing is cut his hand or his foot. He said, okay, cut his hand. So they cut his right hand. The guy, they brought him again second time. They said, Prophet, he stole again. They said, okay, cut his hand. Cut his foot this time, the opposite direction as the Quran saying. So now they cut his right hand and his left foot. The guy he stole for the third time. Don't ask how, this is what they say. They brought him again. So now they cut his left hand. So now he have two hands is gone and one foot is gone. He stole for the first time. Muslims, how somebody have no hands, he can steal. You see the merciful prophet? He keep cutting hands of the person until he have no hands and no feet.
And the story does not make sense for a second because the person, he don't have hands anymore. How he can steal? How he even can walk? When we say Islam is just a stupid religion, we mean it. And you know, if a person he's you know he's a thief and you cut his hand and then you cut the other hand just for stealing egg by the way egg and more how come you did not cut the tongue of muhammad the penis of muhammad because every part of his body was a thief body part he kidnapped women from their husband he took their animals he took their land he took their jewelries he took their money and you go after a person he stole an egg Where is hate in the Quran? Show me what this guy is talking about. So we just showed you, my friend, Ibrahim. You were drunk or what? I showed you many times. Here we go. Here we go. Where is hate in the Quran? Show me. Where is hate in the Quran? Show me. Show me. This guy here for the last hour, and until now I did not show him. Show me, show me. Can you show me? Where the hate in the Quran? Show me. Hmm. Uh, okay, uh, guys, all those who follow Jesus will be superior. Did you did you see a Muslim what your friend he said? All those who follow Jesus will be superior. Okay. But how you can follow Jesus if you're Muslim you claim that the book of Jesus is gone? How stupid is that? Secondly, The Quran confirm that those who follow Jesus, they will be victorious until the day of judgment. That means Islam does not exist. Because according to you, there's not a single Christian right now is following Jesus. Because the Bible is corrupted according to those YouTubers. But look what the Quran says. Christianity is preserved until the day of judgment. From the time of Jesus until the coming back of Jesus, Christianity never changed. You see how your stupid Quran refute you? And not to forget to mention, verse number 54 before this verse, it says, وَمَكَرُوا وَمَكَرَ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَكِرِينَ They deceived and Allah deceived, but Allah is the best of the deceivers. Change the translator, you will find totally different translation. Because this is the book of Falafel. They lie in translation. <laughs> so you see, the one who followed Jesus from the time of Jesus to the time, to the end of the time, they will be victorious. So how Christianity will be corrupted? Do you guys what this verse is saying? Do you see? This verse is saying clearly that the Christianity cannot be changed and it is preserved from the time of Jesus until the day of judgment because how they will follow Jesus from now until the time of judgment, they will be victorious. That means those Christians, there's a Christians in every time who follow only Jesus, not Muhammad. And not to forget to mention here, <clears throat> the Quran saying, just to show you the stupidity of this book, 
you see when the Muslim they translate they are they are officially they have no dignity look Lo Jesus I'm gathering thee what do you mean gathering thee Allah is gathering Jesus why he was like a, 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 a like a dry bread he was pieces gathering thee what gathering thee mean in Arabic it says mutawafika mutawafika mean I'm going to cause your death the false translation saying I'm gathering thee like what the heck change the translator you will find different totally different meaning different words gathering thee <laughs> look we just change the translation look in here gathering thee is terminated by I terminate your life <laughs> And look, guys, do you see what happened here in this verse? This verse destroys Islam again because Jesus should die before he would be taken up to heaven, not after. Do you see it? This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. I'm terminating your life and then raising you up to me. So Jesus, the Muslim, they claim that Jesus never died. Allah took him to heaven and he was still alive since then. The Quran say different. Stupid Muhammad. That's why we say he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. Any Abdul? You are an atheist. A Merry Christmas, my friend. I'm always very friendly to atheists. By the way, once I debated an atheist, I lost a debate. I don't know if I told you that. You know, he, he tricked me, actually. He said to me, Christian Prince, I was, was we were debating about that the uh, origin of a human being is a monkey, you know? And by the way, you know, Middle East, we are we're very hairy, you know? I mean, they, they got a point there. Uh, <clears throat> like once they kicked me out from the swimming pool because they thought I'm wearing a coat or something. They don't know that this is our hair, hello? Anyway, so the atheist, he took me, and he said to me, Christian Prince, he want to prove to me that we are originally, we are monkeys. So he said, Christian Prince, do you like banana? You know, I was not thinking about it. You know, I said, yeah. I said, see, I get you busted. Now we prove that the origin of a human being is a monkey. So I like atheists, to be honest with you. Welcome, my atheist friend. Merry Christmas. But don't ask me the same question about banana, please. It brings a bad memory about this atheist who won the debate by asking me, do you like banana? I will never say again, live on air, I like banana. Uh, yeah, the USA passed Islamic blasphemy law bill, not blasphemy bill, it's Islamophobia bill, Islamophobia. Islamophobia, but international, I don't know what does that mean. Eh, stupid Democrat. This is why if you are a Christian, you should not ever vote for Democrat. This is a party from hell, literally. No matter what they do, whatever they touch, they turn into dust. Any of you doing shopping for food these days? Look what Joe Biden, he did to us. So nice, amazing president. Not like Trump, the price of gas is twice more. The price of food is six times more. You know, the, the, the inflation is 21%. Imagine if you have $100,000 in the bank, you lost $21,000. A Christian who votes for Democrat, he is no Christian. I say that to you loud and clear. Because you are voting for a party which is killing babies, voting for party is antichrist with no question. Uh, anyway, not our topic. Yeah, you can't be Christian and you vote for Democrat, you know, if you claim to be a Christian, you vote Democrat, you are lying to yourself. How you vote for people who vote for the abortion? I mean, everything they stand for is against Christianity. Everything. They support Islam. They support Muhammad. They just made a law 
to encounter Islamophobia international. They want to protect Islam. This is the Democrat. International. What does that mean? Hmm. No, actually, I lost the debate many times. You know, like once I was debating myself. That was very hard. And then, like I said to myself, like I asked myself a very hard question, you know. And the question was, who is the father of Muhammad? You know, so I felt like there's birds around my head, you know, first. I would... And after like birds, they went like 27 hours, you know, because at that, at that time, the, the day was 27 hours, not like now. Now, you know, after tax, you know, to 24. Thanks to Biden. So anyway, the bird, they were going around my head and like I got dizzy and I faint, you know. So I lost, like I could not answer the question, who is the father of Muhammad? Because he was born four years after his father's death. I want any Muslim to tell me, until now I'm trying to find out how in the world this guy was born four years after his father's death. That's a miracle. You know? This is why the Muslims, if you go to their website, they will say, it will say to you that a woman, she can carry a child for unlimited time now depend in the sect you know <clears throat> but they start with two years and then three years four years five years six years look at this uh, you know you don't speak arabic so i'm going to use google translation this is an official islamic website this is not you know this is not a joke this is official so the question here how long a woman she can be uh, waiting for her child translate to english <clears throat> how long how long she can stay like this how long L listen to the answer assalamu alaikum alhamdulillah bismillah alhamdulillah zada, zada, zada. okay now it says here uh, the maximum period of emergency by one year which is a view of muhammad ibn hakam but this one is no one two years in the hanafi those are the, the sect islamic sect two years for the hanafi Three years of Abu Layth ibn Sa'd, but this one is no one, no problem. We focus on the sect. Hanafi is a big sect. The Muslim sect is four. This is one of them. Then Hanbali, Shafi'i and Hanbali, and the most popular view, they believe that it can be up to four years. And then the list continue. And according to Imam Malik, it can be five years. Man. And then according to Al Azuri and Malik, six years. We are getting deep now. And then according to the authority of etc., etc., it is seven years. <laughs> and according to the rest of the scholars, there's no limit. <laughs> That's deep. Did, did you see one Muslim making a video about this page saying, you are a liar. It doesn't say that CP. They don't. This is their religion. And here we go. This is the link. I don't know if it's go through. Does it go through? Was I able to post the, the link? Did you guys see the link I posted about the website? I don't know if you saw it. Because sometimes YouTube don't let it go if it's too long. Yeah, imagine you divorce your wife 20 years ago and then she call you. She say, honey, come to the hospital and pay for the bill. I just gave birth to you and a child for you. Say like, what? What did I divorce you 20 years ago? Say, honey, it's a Sharia law, brother. <laughs> There's a woman, I think it was in Sudan when they were practicing the Sharia law in the time of the pre previous perverted president. Uh, so she gave birth a year and a half after her uh, her husband passed away. So people accuse her of fornication, and this is supposed to be a punishment, uh, a, a punished uh, with the uh, with death punishment, or at least because now she is not married, 
uh, to be whipped 100 times. The lawyer, he told the court, but don't you know that a woman, she can have a child even a few years after her husband passed away? So the court had to let her go. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, you know what? Maybe, maybe the women, they, 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 they hide you, the sperm there. I think they have shelves inside them. Like women, they, when they marry you, you know, they think about the future. Okay, now, sooner or later, he will divorce me, especially when his credit card is empty, I will divorce him, you know? So what I will do now, so what she would do, when you sleep with the wife, she hide your sperm inside her. They have like little holes there and there, you know, shelves, you know, like secret place, dark places. She put it there in a cold place. It's cold, it's dark inside, you know, in the cold, very cold. So she put it there and she put ice. This is why you see women, they, they keep asking, I want to eat ice cream. I want to eat ice cream. For you, you think they are eating ice cream because they like it? No, it's not the reason. They want ice cream to ice the sperm from you. So they can save it for 20 years after. And yeah, but this way, it's a true story. So, uh, so you know, they sleep with your wife. Then she asked you to buy ice cream. She ate ice cream. And then she ice it, you know, like it's encased, you know, like inside the ice cream. And the sperm will stay healthy because it's ice cream, especially the chocolate to that, you know. <laughs> you know, I have my friend, like, you know, uh, like I have two cousins, actually. One of them was like his, his uh, skin is darker and the other one, he is his, his white. I said, well, why? He said, because my mother, she was eating chocolate uh, after, my, you know, center course with my father. And she was uh, eating uh, just ice cream without chocolate. So, you know. This is the scientific explanation for color too, you know. So, uh, and by the way, the prophet, he explained uh, color, do you know? <laughs> Islam is amazing, my friend. That's amazing. Explain color, explain why, everything, everything. Oh, oh boy. This is why if your wife, she asks you for ice cream, never I buy ice cream. Especially after uh, sexual intercourse. It's fishy, I'm telling you. Yeah, they eat ice cream to preserve the sperm so they can ice it and, you know, for later. Uh, do we have any Abdul? I'm not giving them the idea. They have it already. Don't you see their website says there is no limit? <laughs> what idea? You know? <laughs> what what idea? Actually, if you if you read their books, you will die laughing at the stupidity. As an example, one or some of the interpretation of the Quran, they say the reason that Mary, how Mary she gave birth to Jesus. How Mary she gave birth to Jesus. They say that Allah He put inside her when He created her. When the angel he was there, he put semen. So when Allah he breathed into her, he activated the semen. That's deep. Who can fight that? Nobody. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? Hey Christian, do you notice that they don't dare to call me? Do you notice? Do you see how amazing the knowledge is? When you have knowledge, you smash the cult. They don't dare even to talk to you. And the one who dare, he will leave Islam. Like what happened with Muhammad. It took him how long? He called me last time, November 24th. As it shows in uh, Skype, and then today he called me to tell me that he left Islam. Isn't it? This is beautiful. The one who called, he will leave it. And those who claim they can refute me. Lie number one, lie number two, lie number seven, lie number 1200, 
yet they don't dare to call me once to tell me one lie just one hmm Sani Abdul. But you know, at the end of the day, Muslims call us or not, I'm happy to see Christians learning a lot. We, you know, uh, I'm not exaggerating, I say, uh, this is the best school to teach Christians how to get Islam busted. Not how to refute only, how to get Islam busted. In every live season we do, we do nothing but we bust their lies with no mercy. And the same lies they bring to me, they will bring to you. Right? So, uh, you know, like, in, like when I started do, doing what I'm doing, there was very little knowledge about this garbage, which is called Islam. But now, thank God, we were able to spread a lot of, a, a, you know, I mean, my books translated almost to every language in the world. You know, we have few languages left, major languages. Uh, we have my books in Indonesian, Russian, uh, Malaysia, uh, Albanian, Croatian, German, French, English. Uh, I mean, you name it. You know, what is, what, what, I don't know what, what is left. And we have a, a, the book in Persian. So soon I will publish too. Uh, which means even Persian people, Afghani people, they can read my books. And this one, will give it, I will give it for free too. So, uh, what was before is not exist no more. My books alone is enough to destroy any claim about this garbage. It's called Islam. But in the same time, what we did here by doing this live broadcast, we teach you the skills how to corner liars. Because remember, when you debate Muhammadan, you are not debating them. There's no debate in the debate. It's like chasing a professional liar. You see, normally, when you debate somebody about his belief, he will tell you his belief. That will be easy. I tell you my belief, you tell me your belief. But Muslims don't do that. Muslims, they deny their belief in order to make a point. And one of the biggest proof, you know, remember when Mimi, he was debating with this David Wood, you know, whatever he says to him, he denied. it. He just denied. it. He doesn't say it, you know, he denied it. And David, because he don't have the skills to corner him, uh, there was no debate. It was a mockery. So you need to remember that when you debate with them, you are not debating. You are chasing a liar. And the skills of debating a Muslim is not the skills of debating as much. It is the skills how to get him busted with his lies. There's no debate. Debate can happen only between two uh, decent people who say they believe. As simple as that. But Muslims, they deny everything in their books. When the Quran say the sun set in murky water, the Muslim says, no, it doesn't say that. This is how he saw it, but the Quran never say that. The Quran did not say it appeared to him. Can't Allah add the word it appeared to him? And you know what, how stupid it is to even to say that word. So in order to protect their cult, they have to lie. And today we have a Christians from around the world. They are very well trained to refute this garbage, Muhammad. Now, for sure, not everybody have the skills of debating, because debate is not is not something just by having knowledge you can do it. You know, you have to be a very fast thinking person, and you have to have a very sharp memory and sharp. Uh, let us say, you have to connect the dots so fast because the guy just talking to you. This is life, and we do not know even the topic. You see, that's why. Usually people, when they want to say a debate, what they do, they say, we will debate about this topic and this topic only, right? So both of them, they go and print like a thousand lines from the internet, put it in front of them in the computer, and 
this is a debate this is not a debate debate is you don't know what you will tell me and I do not know what you don't know what I will tell you that is really a debate between people who have knowledge people who ask for a topic in advance of a month anyone can go print from the internet a thousand question a thousand answer and he go for such a debate right but a true debate is the one call me don't tell me the question I mean have you ever heard you go to an exam and the teacher he tell you that the questions and the answers before you go so this is what they do when they say we are going to choose a topic a true debate should not have a topic the topic is Islam that's it it's not jihad it's not it's a topic is Islam you don't know what you will say to me I do not know what you will say to me right <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? And never accept to have moderator between you and the Muslim. Because why you need a moderator? Moderator is just a joke. Moderator, his job is not needed. Why? Because if a Muslim, he cannot debate me without moderator. It's mean he needs protection. From what? Talk, I talk. You know, scream, shout, no problem. Prove me wrong. What moderator? So this five time for you, five minute for you, five minute is useless too because nobody in, in like corner the other person with something he said. You sure the 20 minute for this guy and this guy now he go, he he read 20 minute of printed papers he saved for us from the internet. Now the other guy, he's not even listening to him. He was ready to read the paper he printed the same as the other guy regardless if he's a Christian or, or a Muslim <clears throat> who is a Muslim he dare to call me right now mayday mayday who is a Muslim who dare to call me bring it on I don't know what you will say to me anyone We do not need a moderator to favor any corner. You know, the moderator, there is no need for it. You know, I will give you an example. Like when David Wood, he brought a guy, his name is Sheikh Osman, Sheikh Osman, don't forget his name, but not, not Osman, the, the, the fat boy, other one. And then uh, supposedly he would debate with Sam Shamoon. What David would he do? He gave the microphone for this guy, 20 minutes, uh, uh, 15 minutes for you, right? The guy, he asked a thousand questions before the debate started. And, and the topic of the debate is not even there. So here you see a weak moderator. He didn't say to him, stop, this is not even the topic. I mean, how, why you agree about the topic? And then suddenly there's no topic. So they are not fit. They don't know how to debate. They don't know how to make a debate. They don't know how to moderate a debate. And even some of them, they just want to bring a guest just to keep their channel busy. It doesn't matter what happened there. And then 15, 20 minutes for this guy, he asked, he make a million accusation for the Bible, and now they give the mic to Sam Shamoon. So now Sam Shamoon, everything was in head, his head is gone because now he has to answer all those 20,000 accusations. What is that? It doesn't work this way. Just make one claim, give the mic to the other person, let him refute it, get you busted. The Muslim guy was reading the internet. Article. David Wood is a good moderator, is the worst moderator. He always side with the Muslims. He let the Muslim get away with all the lies he say, and the debate end with no 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 point. David Wood only is good in making short videos. He is horrible in debate. He is horrible as a moderator, and this is the only thing he can do really short videos he can make a very nice short videos debate no i cannot make a short video he can you know for me short video is like an hour or so you know <clears throat> and the reason i cannot make a short video because uh, uh, if i start talking about a topic i have to cover it with all uh, it is saying reference which will cover every 
possible question later. So I don't leave you with the questions later to think about it. I just give you all the answers. This is why you see them lining up to debate David Wood, but nobody lining up here. Where are they? Where are they those who want to debate David Wood? How come? When Mimi Hijab, he told them he wanted to, uh, they asked, they said, who you want me to debate from those? And he put my name there. They said, a Christian prince, he make out of Muslim, leave Islam. The coward, what he did? He played a short video, he hung up on me. He will never dare to debate me. They are so much intimidated. And they knew if, if a debate, real debate happened, it's going to be really bad. If it was David Wood, they will give him five minutes for you, five minutes for me, you know, the normal thing. But because it's Christian Prince, we cannot let him talk five minutes. We have to make a 30 second maximum. Hang up on him. <laughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, there's nothing. It's called halal food. Uh, halal food is a, is a lie. It's not exist because the, the, the food of the Christians and the Jews even even pork is is not forbidden but as long the food of the christians and the jews is is uh, uh is lawful for muslims then the halal food is a is a lie you see even the quran says if you are hungry you can eat even pork Isn't it Muhammad he ate from the dish or the, the food, the Jewish women she cooked and she put poison for him, right? Do we have any Muhammadan? It's not about debate correctly. Uh, a Muslim, he cannot debate, There's nothing wrong, it's called correctly and not correctly. The Muslim, they have their own logic. You know, when Mimi Hijab was talking to this guy, Borat, he said to him, the Quran says, uh, uh, if this book is other than uh, uh, God, you will have a contradiction, right? Then Borat, he said to him, well, I have a phone book, I have no contradiction, but it's not made by God, right? So, uh, there is a there is a line of stupidity they are stuck with it and they want somebody they need somebody to put them in their place with their stupidity not somebody give them five minutes of talk and when you take your microphone you say nothing so look what happened this guy they, they brought him to supposedly to fight Christianity they are hoping that he will help them so uh, uh, the Quran says if this book is made by other than Allah then you will have a contradiction very fast, easy answer. Found in it many contradictions. If a book is, if a book in it many contradictions. This book was from other than God. They would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that see, very easy. The problem is that many of those who they are Christian, they are not qualified to debate. Debate is not just a person who learns some stuff and he want to talk about it. You have to be a fast thinker. This guy who looked like an idiot, you know, Borat, he got him busted in a second. Did not take him to, not even him, and very convincing. If a book have a contradiction or not, doesn't make it from God. I, I can write a book, I have no contradiction. Does that mean I'm God? That's very silly, right? So here you will see this atheist, he put this coward in his place in a very short sentence. Right? The problem with the Christians, they don't know how to answer the Muslim from what he just said. You know what I mean? What Christians they do, they don't listen to the Muslim what he is saying. So they start thinking about answering the question without using what he just said. You need to use what he just said. And this is what this guy, he just did. 
he used what he said. If a book have no contradiction, it's from God. He said to him, I have a phone book. Is it from God? I have no contradiction. So you need to learn always that when you are debating, listen carefully what the Abdul is saying. Just listen. Use their logic against them. Do you see in the movie like when uh, when those people they don't have more arrows, so they put uh, like uh, sh you know sh uh, shelters etc. So the enemy start throwing arrows like crazy, and then when they stop, they collect the arrows and they use them to fight back. This is what you need to do. Listen to their stupidity, you know, because when they say to you things against Christianity, they are being stupid. Literally. Any accusation against Christianity is the, the accusation itself can be your best weapon. <clears throat> and it's what we do every day. Every time a Muslim he says something in the chat because they are not calling, I put it in the screen, right? And suddenly what was accusation became a joke against Islam, right? How we do that? You remember? We are refreshing your memory. It is their accusation what help us to make Muslims leave Islam. What the Christians they do, they don't listen to the Muslim accusation. And they start finding their own reasoning. It doesn't work. Use their reasoning. When a Muslim, he says to me, if Jesus is son of God, if Jesus is son of God, then his father should save him. I'm listening. Listen carefully. He said, if Jesus is the son of God, then shouldn't his father, God, save him? So I was sitting and those two Muslim Egyptian, one of them, he asked the other guy, told him, don't go there because he knew what would happen. He spoke to me before about religion and he knew he's no match. But the other one is younger. He insists. He said, no, I said to him, it's okay. It's okay. Let him ask. So he said, if Jesus is the son of God, shouldn't his father save him? I said, that's wonderful. So if Jesus is the son of God, his father should save him. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? That's mean that Jesus must be son of God in Islam because his father saved him. Do you see what I meant when I said use their logic? What was his challenges? If Jesus is son of God, his father should save him. I said, wonderful. That means Jesus in Islam must be son of God. You should see his face. You should see what happened to him. The other guy, he said to him, I told you, don't go there. Here we go. Answer him now. Both of them are Muslims. The other guy, he said to him, okay, go, cool. answer it. Ah, here we go. So you need to listen carefully what the Abdul is saying. And the Abdul always says stupid things. They never say something smart. Never, never. Because they have a stupid God. But because you are not listening and not, you are not using the gift of God which he gave you, and you are not sure some of them they don't have really true faith you know they are not sure of what they are talking about so use their logic who is a muslim he want to call me let us give it a try <laughs> who want to try this is why we have a dry weather here. You know, no Muslim is calling. <laughs> if I am an, if I am like an, a person born in America, you know, blue eyes, green eyes, blonde, or a female, oh boy, you know, the Muslim will be lined up to call. But with a Christian prince, he have to keep begging, like, who wanna call me? Any Muslim? Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? Anyone? If David would open his Skype, says, who want to call me? Uh, tens of thousands of Muslims will call him. I assure you.
usually the only one who call is the one who will lose nothing of their career which means they don't have a career based on Islam those who have a career in Islam they they will lose everything if they call that's why all of them they say we, want, we are willing to debate him I'm willing to fly to America if he the coward debate me face to face face to face face to face Uh, you know this guy ultimate party is just a you know you see when you are nobody you can say whatever you want right that's why they call those people but uh, a person who is uh, he have a career he would never dare to do so because he will he will lose it and now after we finish you will see all Muslim they will say is lying and they will pause for you link saying this guy he refuted him listen to this guy who is going to listen to this guy but we stay here. Those who refute me, they don't dare to call. And I will call them in their life. Anyone? Hmm? Do we have anyone? Anyone? Any two? Any half? <clears throat> No, you know, because they knew that uh, I, I am not a person who go, uh, I am, you know, I, I, I'm not seeking my own fame. Some people, they like to be famous and to be known wherever they go, you know. For me, I don't care. This is the last thing I'm worried about. There's, there's people actually, they, in like they, they make uh, rumors about themselves just because they want people to talk about them, you know? Talking about them make even, even make them money. There's a woman, she used to be an actor, and she is now 70-something. So what she did, she posted her pictures in the bathroom naked. Why she did that? Because nobody's talking about her no more. But now she became a joke of everybody. You know, is what you want? Yes, it's okay. She want to be a star again. So... Some people they are uh, obsessed with being seeking attention, have light on them. For me, I don't really care for those things. I'm here to serve my Lord, not to serve myself. And you know, like uh, uh, if we talk about a donation, uh, I I receive in the last 48 hours. Uh, there's one new person he donated uh, five dollars. Which is strange. I mean, how in the world this happened? <laughs> no, actually, hold on. There's not the only one. There's other one. I just remember. There's another one. But sometimes you you look at the uh, you look at the uh, how people they support you too. You will notice that really people only what they care is just to come here, laugh at Muhammad and his God and etc. And after that, there's nobody care. There's only few. There's a person actually. He sent he sent a donation. He said. He sent me an email. He said, I, I understand if you don't uh, uh, answer me due to my little number. So I said to him, who told you that I answer only those who donate little, uh, big number? It doesn't matter. Actually, most of people who email me in Patreon, they have zero donation. Literally zero. Uh, and we keep asking people not to email, by the way, because mostly the emails are not really important. Here we go. I stay with you for many hours. Ask me. And when you ask me in public, everybody will get the benefit of the answer. <clears throat> anyway, we are, you know, we are grateful for all those who care, but there are very few. That is reality. But there's nothing new. Even the Messiah himself, he have 12 disciples, not 1200. Right? Well, this guy is mentally ill. This uh, ultimate, you know, he, he don't uh, he don't want to accept the hadith. He don't accept the interpretation. But you ask him for the meaning of the Quran, he give interpretation. Uh, so why don't accept interpretation? He says to you because it's made by a human. Aren't you a human too? So he's mentally ill. You know, it's just uh, I feel sorry for him. You see, it's a good sign when a Muslim he refuse the statements and the words of his prophet. That's mean he's ashamed of it. That is the first step to leave this cult. So first start with denial of the hadith, which is Muhammad's speech. 
then denial of the interpretation which is the campaign of Muhammad interpretation or even Muhammad interpretation then you have to come with your own fabrication of understanding the Quran when you don't even speak the language so if you go in the Quran and you see the Muslim they say that the sun uh, the, the sun did not sit in the murky water the Quran did not say that the Quran says it appeared to Zulqarnay but we go and read the Quran all translation in Arabic is in front of us nowhere the word it appeared to be it says he found it he found it and the word found or find is about reporting facts not about reporting something did not happen right there's a huge difference between he found it and he thought he found it it says he found it so what they do now they have to add their own words to this verse to fix it we show them that their prophet explained the verse their prophet himself he said well, the sun set in murky water. They say we don't accept this hadith. So simply, uh, here there's no point of debate about it because obviously this is what their prophet said. I mean, why Muslim they will write this in their books if it's a lie? Do we have any Abdul? Any Muslim? Uh, the one who's saying Amina was a whore raped by Muhammad by Satan. This is not right, my friend, to say. Why do you want to say that? Uh, you know, she had sex with any man, who care? But raped by Satan, what does that mean? Don't go there. Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Hmm. Actually, when the Muslim they say to you, when a Muslim he says to you, the hadith is rejected or not accepted, Tell him that's mean your books is full of lies. And that's mean that your Muslims are not trustworthy. Because the one who write lies about his prophet, he write lies about everybody. Any Muhammadan? Last call before we go. Now, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Ibrahim saying, you are an inter entertainer. Uh, my friend, the best entertainer, Ibrahim, is your prophet. When your prophet, he say, he ordered his wives to cover themselves because a blind man is coming. That is entertaining. That is like, like uh, uh, you know, the best comedy. Have you ever heard of somebody order his wife to cover themselves because a blind man is coming inside? How stupid is that? Right? That is seriously stupid. Imagine I have a friend, he is, a, he is a blind, and I say to my wife, cover yourself. The guy is blind. Literally blind. It's not like have a weak vision. The guy is born blind. And then the wives, they said to him, well, but isn't it him blind? So Muhammad, because he's an idiot, he didn't want to say, oh, sorry, I, I made a mistake. So I forgot, you know, just say I forgot, sorry, you know, so what a big deal. But because he's an, an, an arrogant, he said, okay, he's blind. Are you blind too? Isn't it clear that Muhammad is an idiot?
Muhammad molested animals. Well, there is, do you know guy, the guy, his name is uh, Monkey Box, uh, Ahmed Nader? This guy, he once, he wanted to, you know, debate me, supposedly. It was fun in those old days. And, uh, you know, and uh, uh, Ahmed Nader, he says, so what if the prophet, he had sex with the goat? Isn't it better than the, the Bible says, smash the head of the baby? <laughs> This guy, you have no problem. He's a prophet. Have sex with the goat. <laughs> anyway, we better go. It's already more than three hours, and uh, you see, um, I will try to make my videos way more shorter. Because I notice if I make it long or I make it short, still it is the same. And, uh, uh, you know, I know that YouTube temper with the number because it doesn't make sense. The same video I make will have 20,000 in my channel. And then the same video in different channel have 80,000. I mean, doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense that a video I make, it make 50,000 and then the same video in different channel make a million view. It doesn't make sense. So obviously YouTube is playing games, dirty games with me. And that is not new. They always do. And this is why we cannot keep, uh, we cannot keep our videos in our channel, right? I mean, everybody have his videos. All the most of them, they have their videos for, since 10 years ago. YouTube never take one video down for them. Those who attack Islam on YouTube take their videos, especially me. I can't even have, I mean, after I have thousands of videos I made. If you go in my channel, how many I have? 10? I'm not sure how many. And I have to delete them very soon. All right? This is telling you how much the devil is fighting us. That I am the one who, imagine once I receive a message from YouTube and like, you know, at that time, my videos was monetized. And they said, you are using uh, the videos of somebody else. At that time, I wasn't even playing any videos of anyone. Like, not uh, Zakir Naik. I was very careful. Uh, it's me. I'm a Christian friend. <laughs> they are making any excuse to, to take away uh, the donation. So they thought, if we take the donation away from him, he will not come online. He will stop coming. But that will not change really anything. What make me come online when I, you know, I see there's need for me to be here, I will be here. If I see, okay, we have uh, uh, right now actually I have tens of thousands of videos. Even if I disappear totally, um, um, you know, what I can do more. I will go and work more in my uh, Quran translation. You know, finish it so we can have it translated to many languages too. Uh, but obviously, YouTube is having a war on us, and atheists, liberals, and Muslims are in bed together. They hate Christianity. <clears throat> and you know, not to forget to mention that most of people who they are here, they don't really uh, uh, support us. You could be better job sleeping what are you trying to pour with those those false rooms ibrahim you are just being stupid now it's time for you to go anyone can make an it's uh, what what is that and anybody can we need an, we need interpretation now this guy is making quran what is that look this is ibrahim ibrahim he was thinking and ibrahim he have to put his thinking and writing and this is Ibrahim after thinking. So if this is Ibrahim after thinking, how Ibrahim was before thinking, go Ibrahim, go. Take a hike. Stupidity is amazing. False rooms, what does that mean, false rooms? And why you are here, Ibrahim? As long as this is a false room. Why you enter the false room, Ibrahim? Somebody grab you, Ibrahim? Be honest with us, Ibrahim. What happened? You were a child and somebody grabbed you from your hand. His name is Muhammad. How are you in here, Ibrahim? This is false room, Ibrahim. And Ibrahim, you are here for the last two hours. Why you don't call me to show everybody how false it is? 
But I will tell you, Ibrahim, you are a potato. And you are a coward. You cry and you don't dare to say goodbye. Didn't you say just 15 minutes ago you are leaving? And then 15 minutes before you say you are leaving? What's happened to you? The guy, he keeps saying he's leaving. <laughs> he must be an Arab. In the Middle East, you know, we visit each other for like 10 minutes, let's say, or one hour. And then we stand two hours in the door. Two hours in the door, honestly. I'm not, I'm not, ask any Middle Eastern person. Two hours inside or one hour visiting you. Then when they go to the door, especially Middle Eastern women, you know, I mean, they block the whole building door, and here they get excited to talk again. It's like a new new visit now, in the entrance of the building. This is what Ibrahim is doing. He said, I'm leaving, you know, and he is here for the last. <clears throat> Can you show a hadith about where Muhammad, he take a shower while his daughter help him uh, cover with his with curtain? Uh, let me try to see what you are talking about because I don't think the hadith is exactly what you are saying um, yeah, I need to remember exactly what the hadith is saying to find it you see because when you when you search for a hadith you need to remember at least a line uh, the whole line as it is in Arabic in order to get it and I don't really remember. We did not use this for a long time. But there's the other hadith where uh, Aisha, she was taking a shower and there's half curtain between her and uh, uh, two, two men. We can try to find them. <clears throat> All right, look like we don't have any, like we are, uh, it's district for our life. This is uh, here to debate like this. This is really not God channel. If you claim to be a God person, a Muslim, a, a Muslim talking about God channel and uh, a God person. Okay, was your prophet a God person when he said to a man, go and bite the penis of your father? Mr. Muslim? Was your prophet a God man when he said, go and bite the penis of your father? I'm going with you, you know, you're the logic. Do you think it was a God man talking when he said, go and bite the penis of your father? Now, Mr. Muslim, he will play dead. He heard nothing, he said nothing. He will play dead now, he will stop moving his tail. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. A Muslim talking about disrespect. Biting the penis of your father is respect for sure. Oh, what about suck? Go and suck the clitoris of a lat. Ah, that's a good one too. Hmm. Or what about calling your parents najis? Isn't it your prophet? He says, al mushrikuna najis, those who don't believe in Allah, they are filthy, which means his parents are najis disrespectful look how big the words are deep mm. Ibrahim saying he is an idiot oh no sorry he's saying he's an adult sorry adult uh, I thought Ibrahim you were saying he, so you're an adult idiot then <clears throat> I love it when a Muslim he you know he give us a lecture about respect they call us pigs monkeys najis filthy kuffar liars worse than animals there's a muslim abdul he made a video and he was having a he have a cows behind him he said look at those cows this is what the quran is saying Kal and Am, they are the same as animals those cows are better than the christians and the funny this abdul he's driving a bmw brand new or mercedes i forgot he have a nice phone made by the kuffar a car made by the kuffar the food he ate is by the kuffar and he said what the benefit of the kuffar and the cows he's pointing at those are, you know, the one who take care of them is the kuffar. What is the benefit of the kuffar? The microphone he used is made by the kuffar. YouTube he used made by the kuffar. Internet he used by the, made by the kuffar. And he is saying to us, a Muslim Abdul, 
who is clean his ass with the three rocks, is teaching us what is the benefit of the kuffar? Nothing. Want to debate the Trinity? For sure, call me. Call me, Mr. Muslim Trinity. A Muslim, he will debate about Trinity. That's it. They are stuck with the Trinity. You want to see how Muslim, have, how funny they are with the Trinity? Call me. Call me and tell me about the Trinity. <clears throat> you want to call? A Muslim, you know, all the Muslim, by the way, when they debate about Trinity, they think they have like, a, a, they are superior by having, we believe in one God. Who cares if your God is one or two? He is one idiot God. You want to debate about Trinity? What does that mean? What, what, what does that mean exactly? You don't accept that there's a three a trinity and one God in the same time? Who care? The question is, if this God is exist or not, is your God is exist? You have one God, but this God, he said, there is sperm coming from the backbone. Okay, here we go. We don't have trinity in Islam. We have a God. He claimed that the backbone is where the sperm coming from. Your God never heard of the word testicles. So the word trinity is hurting you. Well, at the same time, everything in Islam is about trinity. Everything in the garbage of Muhammad about Trinity. How you do evolution? Trinity. Everything you do is Trinity. How many times you can divorce your wife? Three times. How many days uh, uh, Mary, she, uh, she fasts? Three, day, three days. How many day, uh, days uh, Zachariah, he cannot talk? Three days. I mean, everything is tr three days. You want to mean about Trinity? This is what they, you know, they, they, they think. And this is why, by the way, when a Christian, they debate Muslims, the Muslim, they love to debate about this point because they think if we speak about the Trinity, they cannot attack Islam. They think that they have a superior point. That because of their stupidity and that because uh, if they can make really, let us say, uh, 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 an argument against a Christian, that because the, the Christian in front of them, he does not even, even know how to take the topic. So what the Christians they do? They start giving them verses from the Bible. Look at the Trinity. Look at the Trinity. Don't do that. Why you want to do that? They believe in the Trinity or not? Who care? Don't believe in it. Still, that will not change anything. That your God is a stupid. Even your God, Allah, when He start talking about Himself, He says three names. I change the Muslim. Why He says three names? Allah Himself is multiply of the Trinity. The age of Jesus x three time thirty three x three ninety nine. You open the first verse in the Quran. What do you see? Three names of Allah. Trinity. Why three names? Any Muslim can answer? So this is what you are worried about. You are not worried about a God. He claimed that women have a sperm coming from their ribs. It's okay. It's okay. But we have one God. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, we have a God who called that man is a sperm coming from the backbone. It's okay. We, we still we have one God. Huh? Okay, that makes sense. Okay, he have a God. He claimed that uh, uh, Suleiman he died standing for a year, and nobody noticed that he is dead until the termite they ate his stick. But remember, we have one God. Oh, I get the point there. Mm. You have a God. He promised you if you believe in Him, He will give you endless penis. So what? Endless penis is good. Still, we have one God. Uh huh? You see, we are winning. We have one God. With endless penis. Uh huh. Okay. We have one God, but He keeps saying, if we want to take a partner, a wife, we will take it from us. Hey, Abdul, how you can solve this problem? You have one God who want to take a partner from us? Any Abdul? We have, uh, we have uh, one God. We have one God. <laughs> so anyone from those who believe in one God is willing to call me and dare to call? TikTok, TikTok. You are tiki talking. Do Allah have one TikTok or two TikTok? Why you don't text me? Don't you want to debate about Trinity? Trinity, you want to debate about Trinity? 
See here, here they are in this AVT. <coughs> <sighs> Any Abdul? <coughs> My friend Muhammad, he never take a shower, watch shower. But this is about the, this is the book of height, not this is not the book of uh, shower. Yeah, but the Muslim they will say to you that this is his daughter, and so what? But remember, uh, Fatima, she is not his daughter. Muhammad never had kids. Do we have any Abdul? I want to translate your book into Turkish language, but I don't have your book in English. Do I have to buy? Text me, text me in uh, in Patreon, Mart, Mart, uh, and I will tell you what to do. All right. See the idea of having one God. Okay, it's one of many ideas. There's people who have many gods, but there's people who worship Satan. They believe he is one God too. So having one God or two God, three God, it doesn't make any difference. It's a, it's a, just a silly, stupid argument. If if there is ten million gods and if they are exist, then they exist. You can't even say no. Can you say no? Can you choose how many God there is? So the whole argument is silly. It's a stupid. And we Christian, we believe in one God. So if God cannot be three, per, three like you know in Arabic we say aknum. It's not really correct to say person, but this is what the English they use. So if God cannot be three in the same time He is one, then God cannot be God. Because if there is something impossible for God. So here you see how silly the Muhammadan are. When they want God, they call Him Almighty. When they want God, is not Almighty. God is all idiot. As an example, <clears throat> how can Allah have a son? The Quran says. But this verse proving that Allah cannot be God. Why? Because God do not need to have a girlfriend to have a son. And the one is a question the ability is Allah Himself. So look how stupid the one who made the Quran. How can he have a son when he never had a, a, a girlfriend? Who is the one who says, how can he? Allah. So if Allah is saying that Allah cannot have a son unless have a girlfriend, that means Allah is not God. Do you see it? Allah is asking how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend. So Allah is like me and you. He need a wife. But look in Christianity, we don't have a God who have a wife. None of us will believe that God, he married Mary and they have a baby, <laughs> you know. So here the Quran is proving to us that this is written by a man. He is a stupid, not only is a man, he's a stupid man. Because this is not a logic to explain to us the concept of your stupid God. So here we go. You have one stupid God. He's one, but he's stupid. Because when God, he says, how can he? And the funny, always he could talk about himself and the other person. Okay, Why Allah is talking says, how can he? Obviously, the author, he could forget to switch. This is a guy who made the Quran. How can he? Muhammad is copying Waraq ibn Nufal. How can he have a son? But when Muhammad he claimed that the one is talking is Allah, Muhammad he made it a diarrhea full of poo, poo So do you see how you refute yourself with the stupidity? How Allah can be the Almighty? Yes, yet he cannot have a son without a girlfriend. My God, he can have a son. Hmm? Yeah, for sure, Muslim, I don't have knowledge, but yet you are not daring to call me to prove it. People can see who have no knowledge. My books is printed around the world, my friend. 
my books are printed and translated to many, many languages, and I have no knowledge. And nobody dared to debate me because I have no knowledge. And you prove it. Here we go. Yeah. Or what you need to do, say he have no knowledge, and that's it. My knowledge is gone. What about you call me and show everybody that I have no knowledge? As long as I don't have knowledge, you can win the debate really easy. It will take you maybe a few seconds. Allah will support you. But anyway, every statement in the Quran proving that Muhammad is a stupid. Look at this stupid verse here. وَخَرَّقُوا Have you ever heard of heard of خَرَّقُوا وَخَرَّقُوا لَهُ بَنِينًا وَبَنَاتٍ Just to show you how stupid the Quran is. This is a chapter 6, verse 100. And this is a translation. They invented for him sons and daughters. For who? To shaitan. Okay. But just to show you how stupid this donkey Muhammad is. We go to different verse in the Quran. The Quran says shaitan, shaitan have babies. The stupid Muhammad, <laughs> he claimed that shaitan, he have a babies. So in one verse says that people, they invented babies for shaitan. He have daughters and sons. In the other verse says he have. Do you see it? This is a chapter 18, verse number 50. Take notes. Allah, he says, are you going to take him and his children's, the shaitan? Do you see it? People, do you see it? So in this verse here, chapter 18, verse number 50, it says shaitan have babies. In the other verse, Allah making fun of the pagans saying they made babies for shaitan. Hello. <laughs> you see it? Who is the stupid? Which one, which one of them is correct? Chapter 6, verse one, 100, or uh, uh, chapter 18, verse 50. The same God who is making fun of the pagan because they, they claim that shaitan have children is the same God he is saying they have babies. This is a God book. And then you go and read the interpretation. They will say to you that Allah, he created a penis for shaitan in his life, in his right thigh. And he have to be in the right thigh, right? And the vagina in the left thigh. So when Allah, he cast him out of heaven, shaitan, he if himself. So he shake this into this, he do nikah. Even the word nikah is used there. So he do nikah by entering this into that. And then he lay 10 eggs, and each egg have 70 shaitan and shaitana, which means 70 male and female shaitan. But remember, we have one God. Alhamdulillah, we have one God. This one God, this one idiot God. <laughs> they think, they think. When they say we have one God, they have victory. That's it. We have one God. My friend, my friend, I have one middle finger. Is that God? How silly is that? You know, when I come to America, I was driving in the highway for the first time, and I don't know really what the speed limit is. And I like I was looking for exit to direction, so I was a little bit slow. And those Americans, they start putting their hands out of the car. I said, man, I'm famous here. Everybody's, is, everybody's saying to me, hi. And I don't know why they have a finger coming from the window. Like, eh, you know, like, what the heck? And I say, hello, hello, hello. Like, you know, like a Borat, you know, in the highway. You know? Yeah. True story. Your God is a middle finger. Actually, your prophet, he says, I am the same as the middle finger. 
Call me to show you the hadith. <clears throat> oh, Lord have mercy. Any Muslim? Any Abdul? <clears throat> All right, well, we have victory as usual. And those cowards, they don't dare to call me. And then after I hang up, they will say, look, this guy, he refuted him. And this guy, he refuted him. And uh, we have a million response, and there's no response. Petito, petito, petito. Petito, petito, petito. Petito, petito, petito. We have one God. We have one God, brother. We have one God. Ah, you are learning the tactical. I like that. Look at this guy. He is learning the tactical. My friend, keep learning. I think you will spend the coming 20 years learning the tacticals. You know what? I'm so glad that you are focusing in the tactical because you, Muhammad, and usually focus in the testicles. I'm not sure why you are focusing in the tactical. Tactical? Are you sure? <laughs> tactical. <laughs> That's a lot of tech, tech, that, this this is a lot of technical tech, 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 technicality. He is learning the tactical. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Just wait until he learned the tactical, then he will hit in the testicles. That's deep. I mean, it doesn't take you long, just 20, 70 years, maybe, you know. Then the tactical will transform into testicles like Allah. He transform the sperm, the semen into congealed dead blood. Mm. Okay, Mr. Tactical. I'm happy for you. Tick, 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 tick. You can tick, tick as much as you want. Anyway, people, I want to say thank you for being here. You should open chat to Muslims and atheists. Well, isn't the chat is open for everybody, my friend, the wise man? Everybody's welcome, you know. Everybody's welcome. Do we ask people who which religion? Everybody, you know, Muslim, atheist, Hindus, Buddhists, who care? All of you are welcome. Anyway, uh, if you like me to come soon, so fast, as you see, YouTube is fighting our videos. So share the videos. Let us have a, a, a good number, at least to make me see that those people here though they are watching they support my channel they are sharing links around in facebook whatever and they bring a lot of people otherwise i don't feel like you know i, I, I need to come you know and remember we need to bring more people new people so they can call me don't you want to see a real fight <laughs> a, hor a horrific fight <laughs> bring me abdul and the only way you can do it is by posting the videos around and inviting people to join us christians jews hindus muslims everybody is welcome and remember don't hate the muslims we are fighting the garbage of muhammad muslims are victims you know muslims are victims even isis for me by the way they are victims those people they think they are serving god they think by killing they are serving god that's what jesus said time will come and people will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. This is what Jesus said. Remember that. So we pray for the Muslims. We are here to save them. We are not here to hate them. There's no point of hate. You know, when we go in war with the with, uh, with those who do jihad, then you can do what war do. You know, I was in the army and I will be willing to go to the army again and again and again. We fight terrorists, but we don't want, we don't want to be killers. We will kill those who want to kill us, but we are not going to kill people. We want to save the Muslims. We want to win them. We want to love them. We don't want to hate them. All right. And if you are a terrorist, then we deal with you differently. Accordingly, as you know. So I want to say thank you for everybody. 
I say may the Lord bless you all and uh, uh, I want to remind people that Christmas is coming and I am thinking to start my new Bible channel after the Christmas or maybe even in the day of the Christmas we will see so uh, pray for that I'm just thinking about it not sure yet uh, I want to be sure that this channel will not take uh, take me away from the target because you know there's many people they can teach the Bible uh, but not many people they can do what I do when it's come to Islam you know what I mean so I want to be sure that that will not take me from the biggest mission there's many great Christians they know the Bible very well very well versed and they can do an even better job than me and if I share the gospel with you it's going to be a totally different new way from the way you know it because for me I like to live the Bible not to teach it which mean people when they read uh, verses in the Bible they just read words for me I like you to live the words so you can understand the words not to read them you have to live them Jesus the Messiah our Lord is the walking talking living Word of God so in order to walk with him you have to listen to him by walking with him not just listen so the walking talking living Word of God need a person who is willing to listen to walk and to live the Word of God otherwise the word is just words so the Messiah when he speak is not just teaching wisdom he's not sharing words he's not making speeches because many they can make speeches great speeches but he was telling you how to live his word how to be united with the Lord So I have a different way of teaching the gospel and I don't want to read for you a verse and tell you what the verse mean. I want to read the verse and all of us will leave the verse and then we will understand what the verse means. See the, the, the word of Christ it is self-explain. You do not need me to explain it but the condition is so simple. You have to be living as a faithful person from your heart the words you read otherwise they are just words in a book so the words have to go and live inside you inside your heart then those words will be active and they will be something very useful for you otherwise words are words thank you for being here may the lord bless you and we will see you soon again christ as lord and Islam is a scam, and we prove it every day. Take care. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran is mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears i really do think jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried he, he thought that he was a son of god in the sense that he was specially chosen by god i think jesus really did think he was going to be the messiah the future king of israel i mean that is after all why they crucified him 